Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a Mexican street corn fritter. We've added all the traditional ingredients that you would think of. We're gonna to top it off nicely with a little crema, a little crunch, a little this, a little that. These things came out fantastic. Here we go. All righty, couldn't start the day off with my Uncle Sam shirt because today is the day. Happy birthday, Merck. So this is the idea. So um, if you're looking at this channel for inspiration for something to make for the fourth, I think by the time we post this, it might be the day before, way too late in the ball game, right? I can't teach you how to make everything you want to make or inspiration while you're trying to shop for ingredients. So today I'm just going to have fun, kind of mix two things that have been requested highly, and I think it's going to be a fantastic dish. But if you are looking for like inspiration or recipes, stuff like that, don't forget to check out theflattopking.com. I think what I'll go ahead and do is list some of like our favorites, what I think you'd enjoy, like maybe like a homemade hot dog chili. Uh, maybe a couple smash burger or something like that. So just look in the description below. We can get you something set up for the fourth. Um, the one thing we're doing today is basically like, you know, I love Mexican food. I mean, it's my favorite, right? So we get a lot of requests to make either a potato or a corn fritter on the griddle. And I thought, what better way to incorporate like a street style corn and a fritter, corn fritter. So today is going to be a Mexican street corn fritter. I think it sounds fantastic. I've been thinking about it and going over the recipe in my head, and I think we've got an awesome one for you. With that being said, there's nothing like making Mexican food on the 4th of July, so let's go. <laughs> we have a little prep to do, so this is the idea behind it. I've got a little bit of dry ingredients measured out. Uh, let's see, we've got cilantro, green onion, jalapenos, and limes, and egg. We grilled corn yesterday. I'll show you how to do that. All right, we just got done finishing up on pellets of pits, a homemade barbecue sauce with bourbon. We did the classic barbecue chicken. That's what 4th of July seems to be all about. That's what you guys recommended that we make, and that was on our other channel, Pellets and Pits. So the coals are still burning on our brand new Weber 22 inch kettle. You're gonna see that in a couple of videos. I've got my coals uh, burning on one side. Since my coals are already going, you might as well go and grill some corn up and get ready for the next day. So I just got some duck fat. You can use butter. Sometimes I think butter might burn a little bit, but we're just trying to get just a touch of oil on there. So that way we can grill it off. You can definitely put this on your pellet smoker. You can definitely put it on a gas grill. We're just looking to incorporate some flavor. I got some wood chunks in there as well. Just grill this off, get some nice grill marks. Uh, we have some tahini seasoning, obviously the milk. Uh, we have some Cholula. We're gonna make a crema. We got the Cheetos, a little salt and pepper. I think we can come out with something fantastic. The idea is that we reached out to a lot of people and said, hey, what would be like your go-to? If you had a smoker, um, a pellet smoker, a stick burner, a gas grill, a griddle, or a charcoal grill, what would be like your number one go-to 4th of July meal? Barbecue chicken seemed to rank high up there, so we did that on pellets and pits yesterday. And because of that, I was thinking, like a lot of people mentioned sides, and corn on the cob was way high on the list. So this might be a reason to use leftover corn since 4th of July is right here. So here we go. Let's get started. Let's get the... Prep work knocked out. Let me get this bad boy on the road. All right, to our crema, we're going to do half and half. So we're looking about a half a cup of mayonnaise versus a half a cup of sour cream. Really, this is just where it comes down to what you like, how citrusy, how hot, all that stuff. Half of a lime first, just to taste it. I've got another one ready just in case we need it. A little bit of cilantro, give that a mix. Probably add just a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. I don't like it. I want more lime. I want this thing to have a zing to it. Yep. Definitely, oh yeah. Definitely the whole lime. That's perfect right there. All right, we're gonna set this in the refrigerator and get started on the fritters. Now the fritter mix, we have some flour, we have some cornmeal. We're going to introduce the corn, the cilantro, the jalapeno, and the whites of the green onion. Mm. 
one tablespoon of tahini. We have some sugar, some baking powder. And of course, this recipe will be available at theflattopking.com. One egg, nice pinch of salt, a little black pepper, and the juice about a half of a lime. To that, we're gonna add about a cup of the milk and then we can adjust if we need to. Give this a mix, get it all incorporated. I can already tell you right now, we're gonna add that other half of milk. I have absolutely no idea how I forgot this. This was a whole idea for engineering this recipe, cotilla cheese. So we put about a cup in there. That looks fantastic to me. Ooh, let that set for a minute. Our griddle's heating up. I'm gonna shoot for about 375 to 400. I think it's gonna be fantastic. All right, today we're using the Weber Slate, the three burner. I'm gonna focus on the actual burners themselves, uh, a little more even heat. So we're just gonna make a line of oil right there and drop three uh, fritters down. Same thing, so I'm gonna load this side of the griddle and this side of the griddle. So I'm gonna start here, my griddle runs downhill. About how much of the mix do you think? Way too much. <laughs> um, I'm probably putting down close to like half a cup. You could probably back it up to like a quarter cup if you wanted like smaller portions. I have some Cheetos. You can use the jalapeno, you can use the fire, whichever ones you like. We're just gonna do a rough chop. Something like that, you want it pretty small. You gotta think about your little fritter. Boy, that looks good, babe. It's like a street corn pancake. I know one thing, you can smell that gotilla cheese. It kind of mixes in and it creates like a real crispy crunch on the outside. Kind of like a texture component. Mm. Alrighty, after they come off, we went back and forth and it's kind of one of those things where how you garnish it is up to you. You can actually, you know, put out your garnishments like this. And when they come by, they can sprinkle each, you know, unit they want to on there and build it the way you want to. So whether you like it spicy, you could put your, I thought I had it out here. Oh yeah. Your chalu on there, where they don't like it spicy, it does have the jalapenos in there. You can stack them, you can cut them in quarters. You can use the bigger ones. Uh, garnish those and cut those in corners a lot of different options the bottom line is we've tasted two of them now with different garnishing options and we can't stop eating them so no matter how you garnish it it's up to you so we can play around maybe garnish each one different just to get a different idea so there's that uh crema a little bit of chopped up uh, cheetos a little bit of chalua A little cilantro, you know, you got your green onions if you wanted to. And then if you wanted to on that, you could always top it off with a little cotilla cheese, something like that. So I'm gonna get the rest of these garnished, knocked out. Like we mentioned, it doesn't matter how you garnish it or how you serve it, these things are fantastic. Many different varieties, options, techniques, you name it. Basically, they're just good. I mean, they are, they're just good. Mm. The crunch from the Cheetos. Yeah, the, the Cheetos does add a nice little texture pop. These things are legit. Mm. 
You know, you typically don't like spicy food, but mm. besides the Cholula, I mean, you just get crazy you want. The jalapeno, I like the raw jalapeno in there. Yeah. Flies like it. I like it. That's what it's about. <laughs> just something different for the fourth. Get the family together. Uh, Bite-sized pieces. Let them come through, and it's pretty good. So, it is. It's pretty, too. <laughs> well, that's what matters. For you, you eat with your eyes. All right, guys. There you go. There's our fourth of July special. Uh, you guys have fun. Have a blast. Happy birthday, America. I think we might do like a... Uh, I know for a fact we're doing burgers, dogs. We're doing a brisket. We're doing uh, orange sherbet, which is like an orange soda, crushed pineapple, and sweet Guinness milk. Oh, we should do a little short on that. That is we super can. good. The family's bringing all kinds of desserts and all that stuff. So maybe we'll film that and show you what our family brung. It's just nice to interact with you guys and uh, show you what our family's doing and vice versa. All right, guys, if you're interested, share your stuff on Instagram as well. I love to see what you guys are making. Also, don't forget to hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Last but not least, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, show it with your friends. Peace to Uncle Sam. <laughs>